As the world increasingly turns to renewable energy, one of the biggest challenges we face is how to store that energy efficiently. Solar, wind, and other renewable sources are intermittent, they don't generate power all the time. To solve this problem, energy storage technologies are crucial. Among these, pumped hydro energy storage fees has emerged as a strong contender. But is it the future of energy storage, or are we overlooking more advanced solutions? In this video, we'll explore how fees works, its advantages, its challenges, and whether it's the solution the world needs to store clean energy for the future. Before we proceed to the video, don't forget to hit the like button and ring the notification bell so you never miss our upcoming videos. Pumped hydro energy storage is a form of mechanical energy storage, one of the oldest and most reliable technologies for large-scale energy storage. Essentially, it functions like a giant rechargeable battery. The process involves two water reservoirs, one located at a higher elevation and the other at a lower elevation. Here's how it works. Energy storage during periods of low energy demand or when excess renewable energy is available such as during sunny or windy days, electricity is used to pump water from the lower reservoir to the upper reservoir. This uses excess power that would otherwise go unused. Energy release when electricity demand increases, the water stored in the upper reservoir is released, flowing back down to the lower reservoir through turbines. As the water flows through the turbines, it generates electricity that can be fed back into the grid. This process is essentially the reverse of hydroelectric power generation. This cycle of pumping water and releasing it to generate power can repeat many times. However, the efficiency of this process depends on various factors, such as the height difference between the reservoirs, the volume of water, and the condition of the turbines. In today's rapidly evolving energy landscape, FEES is gaining renewed interest due to the increasing demand for energy storage solutions that can integrate with renewable energy sources. A report by the International Renewable Energy Agency IRENA emphasized that storage solutions are vital to achieving a high share of renewables in the energy mix. Since renewable sources like wind and solar are intermittent, storing energy when it's abundant is necessary to ensure reliability and grid stability. FEES is uniquely suited for this role because of its ability to store large amounts of energy. Unlike batteries, which are generally used for smaller, short-term storage, FEES systems can store gigawatt-scale amounts of electricity, making them crucial for large-scale power grids. The importance of FEES is becoming more evident in markets around the world. Australia's Snowy 2.0 project, for example, is set to increase the capacity of its fee system by 2,000 megawatts, providing much-needed energy storage to complement the country's transition to renewable energy. Pumped hydro energy storage comes with numerous advantages, which help explain why it has remained a dominant form of energy storage for decades. Let's break down some of the key benefits. High efficiency One of the most appealing aspects of fees is its high efficiency. Modern pumped hydro plants can achieve efficiency rates of 80 to 90 percent, meaning that most of the energy used to pump water up to the higher reservoir can be recaptured when the water flows back down through turbines. This makes fees a cost-effective option for large-scale energy storage. Scalability fees is known for its ability to scale up to meet large energy demands. A single fees facility can store and deliver hundreds or even thousands of megawatt hours of electricity. For comparison, the largest batteries can store only a fraction of this amount. For example, Bath County Pumped Storage Station in Virginia, USA, is one of the world's largest fees plants, with a capacity of 3,003 megawatts enough to power about 2 million homes. Long lifespan One of the major drawbacks of newer energy storage technologies like lithium-ion batteries is their relatively short lifespan. As batteries degrade over time, their capacity and efficiency diminish. In contrast, FEES plants can last 50 years or more, providing decades of reliable energy storage and power generation. Proven technology since the first pumped hydro system was built in the 1890s, the technology has been tested and proven. It has been used for decades to help stabilize power grids and store energy from renewable sources. This long track record gives FEES a level of reliability and trust that newer technologies may still lack. While the advantages of FEES are clear, the technology is not without its environmental and social challenges. Constructing a pumped hydro plant requires significant infrastructure, including large reservoirs and sometimes the diversion of rivers. These factors can have a substantial impact on local ecosystems and wildlife. For example, the Snowy 2.0 project has faced some criticism from environmentalists due to concerns about the impact on the surrounding landscape and wildlife. 
critics argue that the construction of additional reservoirs and tunnels could disrupt local habitats and wildlife corridors. Moreover, fees plants are often located in remote areas, meaning that they can affect local communities. The large-scale infrastructure required for these projects, such as power lines and access roads, can sometimes cause disruptions to the local population. However, closed-loop systems have been developed to mitigate some of these impacts. These systems do not require natural water bodies but instead use two artificial reservoirs, significantly reducing the environmental footprint. This design is becoming more popular in new projects, especially as the energy transition accelerates. Although FEES has significant potential, there are limitations that cannot be overlooked. Geographical limitations One of the primary challenges for FEES is that it requires specific geographic features, such as a substantial difference in elevation between the two reservoirs. This means FEES cannot be implemented just anywhere. According to a study by the MIT Energy Initiative, only about 2 to 5 percent of the world's total energy storage potential can be harnessed through fees due to these geographical constraints. High initial costs the construction of a pumped hydro plant is expensive, with a typical fees project requiring billions of dollars in investment. These high upfront costs can be a barrier to the widespread deployment of fees, particularly in regions where the demand for energy storage is lower or where alternative storage technologies are more cost-effective. On construction timelines, unlike battery storage systems, which can be deployed relatively quickly, fees plants can take several years or even decades to construct. The long lead time involved in developing these projects may make them less appealing in a fast-changing energy landscape. Environmental concerns, despite advancements in closed-loop systems, fees still raises concerns about the environmental impact of large-scale infrastructure projects. Reservoir construction, water diversion, and land use can still pose challenges, especially in environmentally sensitive areas. Despite these challenges, the future of pumped hydro energy storage looks promising, especially as the world accelerates its transition to renewable energy. According to Bloomberg Neff, the global market for energy storage is expected to grow at an annual rate of 10% over the next decade, with fees playing a major role in this expansion. Countries like China and the United States are investing heavily in pumped hydro technology. China, in particular, is leading the way with the Tengger Desert Mega Fees project, which could become the world's largest storage facility once completed. New technologies are also emerging to address the limitations of traditional pumped hydro systems. For example, small-scale pumped hydro systems are being developed to make fees more adaptable to different geographic regions. These systems aim to use lower head height elevation difference and smaller reservoirs to increase the feasibility of fees in a wider range of locations. Pumped hydro energy storage is far from a perfect solution, but it remains a critical part of the energy storage landscape. Its ability to store large quantities of energy, long lifespan, and reliability make it an essential tool for integrating renewable energy into the grid. While there are challenges, particularly in terms of cost, geography, and environmental impact, technological advancements are helping overcome these barriers. As the global demand for renewable energy storage grows, fees will continue to be a key player in the energy transition. While the future of energy storage will likely include a mix of technologies, pumped hydro will undeniably remain a crucial part of our energy infrastructure for decades to come. So, what's your take on it, guys? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.